Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Literary Mirrors uh, Annual Lit Fest 2023, the Festival of Words, which is head by Nitish Raj. And I am author Kosha, and we'll be moderating today's session, a talk show, which is a look into mental health and wellness for writers. Uh, the speaker will be uh, Aarti Ahuja, who is a well-known psychologist and COO Burn Healing, who heads COO Burn Healing Foundation. I'll tell you about her and the talk in a while. But uh, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's sessions, which were full of information and fun, interesting way. And we'll have more sessions on this Lit Fest today as well as tomorrow. All right. So here we have our guests. Like mental health is a talked topic now. It's not that much taboo, which it used to be. People talk openly. People are aware about it. People want to heal from it. People know that it's nothing a taboo or a bad thing. It just happens. Uh, like we are into stress. We depression and mental health again only doesn't mean that you have suicidal thoughts or uh, harming thoughts or hurting thoughts to someone. It can be as small as like you can't uh, arrange the normal your day's routine uh, in a while or as small as getting out of bed in the morning as you get up. You are awake but you can't get out of the bed or or. A small thing like you, you don't feel like talking to your friends or when you are in public, you don't, you want to say something, but somehow your body restricts from speaking. So all this small, small signs can be of stress, depression. There are so many of the things in mental health. But yes, mental health, how important it is for writers. Like, does it affect their writing? Does it does it show in the way they write? All this we'll discuss with Aarti Ahuja. Uh, let me give a small intro about her. She is a well-known practicing psychologist at New Delhi. And she is also uh, currently pursuing her PhD program uh, and working in the area of social and health psychology along with that she is the COO of burn healing foundation expanding social media and community outreach along with looking after administrative aspects of the uh, foundation since nearly a decade her learning at amity university where she has done her ba and ma along with the other professional degrees have trained her in stress and anxiety management isn't it so lovely that her training program uh, her studies only trained her for stress and anxiety and which she turned uh, into then her profession relationship and family counseling grief and loss counseling integrated and diverse gender neutral uh, client base she has across the age group and taking her mental health vision forward she is opening vistas for young psychologists and mental health professional through rebranding her private practice and she's an alumni of modern school and roots her in which roots her in servicing the society along with famical uh, family uh, medical legacy that she carries in the healthcare domain. So her family legacy, her school, her college where she did BA, MA, everything combined together and now she is a practicing psychologist and COO and to take further she is developing an uh, organization for uh, young psychologists uh, and mental uh, health professionals who can join together and work towards the well-being of the society. We welcome you, ma'am, and pleasure to have you today uh, at the show, at the Lit Fest, where we'll have a talk show, which is a look into mental health and wellness for the writers. Welcome. Thank you, Kosha, for such a lovely introduction. And congratulations to you, Nitish, and the entire team for a successful, yesterday's successful first day. And today, I believe since morning, you guys are in back-to-back -back session. Yes, yes, so, yes. 
Okay. So, Kosha, I believe that you and the team had certain questions that you would like to ask yes. around mental okay. health. Yeah. So, uh, typically, we writers always work alone. Like, we don't work in a group or a specific, even if it is our office or a particular room or library, we are always working alone, which some some sometimes due to lack of social interaction and everything, it leads to the feeling of isolation and loneliness. So these issues not only affect uh, mental well-being of us, but also affects the writing directly. And on the flip side of this, a good state of mental health can enhance more creativity and increase uh, motivation and can result into good uh, writing of ours. So how true is this? Uh, can you let us know? Well, what a beautiful question to start the session with. Thank you, Kosha, for the question. Yeah. Being more vibrant as a writer is not only that you're writing alone. There's an entire army of things, people, and the army within the brain that works together to show that it is true for everyone, even more so for writers. As writers bring the perception of living in words and imageries. They build a bridge for ordinary folks between understanding emotions and experiencing them as expressions. So when you say that the flip side of a good state of mental health enhances creativity, increases motivation, and mm. results in richer writing, yes, it does. Originality mm. in mm. writing is a byproduct of balanced living. But before we get into more of that, there's always a certain small amount of basics that we learn and we go by. Kosha, mm. I would request you to play the ABC of mental wellness that I have created around and understood through my practice and interaction with writers like yourself and other people that what mental health can be and can sound like for people. Can you please play the presentation? Yeah, it's, uh, it's just loading. Give, give, give it a second. on your whatsapp there would be another version that i had shared if you can uh check that okay the yeah. last message is shared with you yeah uh just a minute Okay, uh, here I have uh, that version. I just share the screen. Is this? this one, Thank you, yes. Yeah.
this is yes okay so there was a beautiful video yes. which uh, tells it about about abc of mental health can you take us a little bit through it yes i would be glad to hmm. why i call it the abc of mental health like for writers to write you need language which is basic hmm. to understand hmm. emotions and to also understand the variety of emotions that we can express and go through hmm. so i created this abc of mental health that just helps professionals like me hmm. and people in different varied professions to understand that what can we feel and what can we name it all hmm. these terms and words are very well defined in psychology and also used in other professions like the coaching profession mm. and other related motivational speakers would be using mm. a lot of these words and terms jo hum regularly kehte acha be brave be resilient mm. be confident mm. Mm. iske mm. piche ka abc kya hai iske piche ki okay. thought kya rehti hai generally so mm. then we come down to can i have the next slide please yes something that we call in psychology the like it's the wheel of life which is a very popular concept in astrology and tarot similarly okay. in coaching and psychology we have the wellness wheel okay. what does this wellness wheel include hmm. so from knowing that we feel these many things and the human being has the capacity to feel so much we are right here with the emotional well being wheel the hmm. wheel of life as i like to call it there are your emotional areas your social areas physical areas the mm. environment that we are in the occupation like writers that we are discussing today financial spiritual so it is not that writers work alone but we work within a system that can make us feel a little lonely so mm. today mm -hmm. i'm here to help you understand what is there that is missing for writers in today's world wherein they are trying to focus and fit into the wheel because we have to keep going mm mm agree agree wonderful yeah so my next question is the connection between mental health um, and writing is undeniable as you also mentioned correct uh, so do mental state and thoughts at particular time of writing uh suppose a writer is writing a incidents or a chapter or defining a character so mental health does it uh, affect uh, you like does i it said affect that the writing it is, it is about keep that we keep going but when mm. we keep going Mm. like you can you saw in the wheel we are interacting with the environment outside we are mm. a part of a profession for some mm. people writing is their main profession they mm. have their family social life their relationships and so many other things around that mm. effect and it's the interaction between the writer the individual at the end of the day between the subconscious and the expression on the paper the subconscious mm. is affected by everything outside there are many mm. things that influence character formation mm. today we have these creative writing courses and other mm. courses that teach us how to form a character but mm. at the depth of it is the interaction between the subconscious that makes that connection on the paper to bring out a character sketch and the most mm. beautiful term in writing is a character sketch why yeah. a sketch because a writer is an artist that gives an image those words that mm. feeling that emotion those words mm. today our most beloved characters have mm. a connection to the writer's experience the best example that comes to my mind is jk rowling's harry potter series each mm. character each little element is her interaction with the environment that she was in Correct. even our beloved comic books though many writers and many people don't like comic books being considered literary but mm. let's face it they have mm. an influence on people's way of thinking living and also they're an expression from the subconscious 
because those comic book characters represent what people are not able to express otherwise. Hmm. Hmm. Agree. Agree. Comic books, yes. And right, uh, J.K. Rowling, perfect example. They they all uh, show the set of mind they wear from the uh, books, uh, you know, or books they have written or anything comic they have written. Wonderful. In the uh, recent again, years, you might yeah. have noticed that J.K. Rowling has given a lot of interviews where she has mentioned ki a beloved character. She observed people on the subway, the metro, or around uh, her while yeah. writing. So yeah. see, the power of our environment is so huge that mm -hmm. to create a successful character, she was always in touch in that so-called flow with the environment to mm. be able to express it and change the imagery and paper. Hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Correct. Okay. My next question is, um, writing is full-time thing. Like even if our author is not writing, uh, you know, back of the mind, the thinking, the noting, the observing, the editing, everything goes on. So it's kind of full-time thing. So uh, does it affect the life relations and like balancing work and life relation? Does it affect that? Everything in life is a balance, is a term hmm. that we might have heard quite often. Hmm. Even in writing, like I said, that going back to the relationship wheel, we see that writing is an occupation, a full-time occupation for many people. Even if it's not a full-time occupation, even if somebody is writing because they love to write, like in the words of the bard, you write hmm. because you believe you can write. Hmm. I'm sorry if I say the statement wrong in front of so many literary geniuses, but this is what I remember the essence to be. And as you can see, the pillars of well-being describe that writers are creative being after all. And while focusing on writing, the work-life balance is shown further in our slides and also in these pillars of well-being. To maintain your well-being, you need to be supported. The, mm. Like I was talking, the interaction between the environment and other factors. A lot mm. of times while writing is a wonderful profession, but is it giving an individual enough financial stability mm. to be mm. able to lead a life that it has a quality to it? Correct. It's not always about the materialistic pursuit, but it is about the quality of life that yeah. as a full-time writer are they able to get. And if you see these pillars of well-being that I've created, they explain that how the balance, the work-life mm. balance, the socializing, the solitude, when you say that writers write alone, mm. what is the importance mm. of solitude and mm. how does it help in creating that wonderful masterpiece or even that one piece of writing that the writer can identify with, the discipline that goes in writing. The want. freedom to be able to express and above all, the stillness within, the stillness hmm. within wherein you go back, you think, you don't edit that often, but you're always thinking about what you're going to write. And yeah. as Eureka moments, as hmm. the famous Eureka moment, well, hmm. inspiration does try anywhere. So... Hmm. We are always prepared to be in that eureka moment zone as writers to Correct. be able to express and create that balance for ourselves. Hmm. Do you want me to change this slide or this slide is okay? Yes, you can change the slide. Okay. The boundaries. What are boundaries that the limit uh, people yeah. set in order to create a healthy sense of personal space? And boundaries can be physical or emotional in nature. For writers, it can be defined as limit of taking, limits of taking, including the feedback. Okay, limit of taking, which includes feedback also while maintaining one's original. Oh, this is seriously a, a thing because I write something. Uh, those are my thoughts, not necessarily 
what I am going through. Those are my thoughts on the topic. Now, I have people who would not agree to it or who will agree, but mostly uh, there are people who will not agree also. So uh, what they do is they try and put uh, their thoughts on it. Th those are welcoming their feedbacks are welcoming but not necessary that we accept and agree to it wonderful uh, slide so before going to the next okay I'll, I'll ask my next question also along with it you can uh, explain this so my next question is okay. uh, striving for a balanced routine where work rest leisure activities Coexist. How a writer preserve mental health and sustain creativity in the long run? Is it mentally exhausting and overwhelming? Does it affect writing? So this goes well, with you that. You see your own reaction. You yes, yeah. you see your own reaction, Kosha. Yeah. Right now, as soon as you read what are boundaries for writers, you went oh, so yeah. your oh moment is yeah. right here when you are trying to sustain your creativity mm -hmm. and because as a writing process, the creative process is exhaustive and overwhelming. Yes, mm -hmm. it affects. It affects. Mm -hmm. That is why today when you read this, it resonated with you. It yes. might have resonated with other people who are yes, hearing in. For a writer, whether fiction or nonfiction, it is a world of their own. Yes, it can be lonely. It has a lot of elements to it. And like they say, that a writer has compartmentalized all their thoughts in their hmm. brain. And it is not only a brain of a writer, but it is a brain of an individual simultaneously. Hmm. Just hmm. like they say for psychologists that we compartmentalize so many things, so does a writer similar to us. And hmm. that's a similarity between my profession and yours. Okay. When a piece of writing is created you're hmm. fully attached to it like you said yourself that you're attached to what work you have produced and you welcome feedback hmm. which hmm. for many writers is very essential to understand that by welcoming feedback they are opening themselves to improve and create a better way of writing and the process of writing this attachment brings the writers to the flow of writing the when the where and the how of the process of writing we are all aware about it but very specifically but sharing information and a little insight into this a little more hmm. when is we know that everything Sorry. is written and expressed hmm. do we keep editing just like in life when we set boundaries which are important also for writers to set a boundary is very important. I'm a researcher as well. So when I do my research work, there has to be a limit. You can research, you can go on and on researching, but to know where to stop and where to stop and accumulate the acquired information is very similar to the writing process as well. To set that boundary of receiving information to effectively create the piece is also important the second question that it comes to is how how to effectively set boundaries and be detached from the piece that you have written and like you said where to take feedback how hmm. does it help in regulating a writer's emotions yes we come back to the wheel of well-being for writers, we come back to understanding the ABC of human existence, which are emotions. So can I have the next slide, please? Yes. This? Yes. So it will be, these are certain tips that I have worked with writers, I have worked with creative people and have been a part of certain researchers myself. So I came up with these seven things that mm. help you understand. Mm. You write the piece. You take a break from it. Detach from it. Share with others for feedback. Be mm. open to feedback. Like Kosha just mentioned that she's open to feedback because she has grown in herself and she's mature enough to accept that feedback. For young writers, it is very important 
to know that their expression is guarded in originality, but somebody's experience is opening them to harness more of their talents. Analyzing the feedback. It is very important for writers to analyze the feedback received. First of all, knowing whom you gave your piece to. Mm. What did you expect from them? Yes, it mm. is all about expectations at the end of the day. Mm. What they have shared, because please be mindful of this fact that what they shared is their own personal experience, their own interaction within their own little universe that makes them have that opinion on your piece. How mm. does it make you feel about it? And how does it make them feel when they read through your piece for the first time? Would you be comfortable in including the suggestion? Does it change the tone of your intended message? And why did you write it originally? A very important question that we need to ask is why did we write it originally? If we accept a feedback and include it in our writing, have you changed or faced other experiences that have made you move away from your original expression? Because human mm. emotions change, our experiences change on a daily basis. And that causes a sense of knowing and not knowing, asking and receiving feedback with gratitude, adapting the storyline and message without the loss of the original idea is mm. nothing but being wise for a wise. writer. Yes. Wonderful. So what I created, understanding this and understanding how we are always interacting with the environment and so many mm. concepts around it. Mm. Wise is an acronym that I like to use for withdraw, integration, support, and evolve in this concept. You withdraw, you detach from the piece, you take a break. It is important to take a break right after you have written. Kai bari ye bola jata hai writing classes mein and ek write, creative writing experiences mein ki ek dam se edit mat karo. Wo hmm. kyu bola jata hai? Hmm. Ye detachment is important hoti hai. Kyunki aap ek us continuous thought process se break le rahe ho. Jo hum therapy mein bhi bolte hai ki negative thought ko tordne ke liye usse break le ni padti hai. Then comes integration, original thought and specific elements that are essential to your writing. Keep your writing style. You can improve the grammar, you can improve the way of expression, but the way you write is your own originality. Stick to it, support, ask and seek feedback always. Because if you ask for feedback and you seek it, you're also able to give feedback to others. Adapt evolve adapting to the scenario and including your strengths in your original piece of work what are your strengths dhag, 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 dhag. there's something that goes dhag, dhag in our system na? our heart so our heart makes us empathetic makes us kind and makes us able to express ma'am mm. we have only 10 minutes left for okay. the zoom link yeah we need to be a little faster Okay. okay, okay, done. Uh, so my next thing is, uh, how is self-care important for writers? Uh, mental health, how crucial mental health is for writers and who often tap into their own emotional experiences uh, and bring their work to life. So how mental care or self-care is important? Setting boundaries is a part of self-care that we have been discussing. But for creative people, self-care is not the fancy things that you see online. Those mm. two, if a writer is best with luxury, real self-care for writers can be very, very difficult to manage. And if you see in this present slide, again, going back, and understanding the mental health self-care wheel. Along with the wheel, you'll see an other system that I have placed, the mind, the body, the emotions, and being present, connecting, connecting inspiring. And inspiring. Mm -hmm. inspiring. At the end of the day, a writer always needs inspiration. Can I have the next slide, please? The three steps. So you always need, yes. 
the three mm. steps to process stuck creativity as a writer. What is stuck creativity? Just go home creative block bhi bola jata hai. Mm -hmm. wo aur kuch nahi hai. Bas wo interaction of the environment me kabi kabi blocks a jate hai. Mm. As a part of self care, regulating your emotions is very important. So mm. it is recognize, respond, mm. reset. Mm. And in the process, when you learn to recognize and accept your feelings as they come up, what happens is that something breaks, something in the thought process. Like I said, negative thought ko rokna padta hai. Mm. Aapka writing piece bhoat positive shuru ho sakta hai. Lekin aapke environment mein kuch aisa hua, jisne aapko negative bana diya. Toh wo aapki writing mein reflect karega. The next Correct. slide please. Yeah. Yes ma'am. So this is the mindful tool for writers. Always pause, reflect, recognize then respond and reset and come back to writing okay wonderful and, and what like are the... the star vault yeah. in my field said hmm. that the optimal we have come up with the flow the optimal state of keeping expression available from the subconscious to the conscious like the great star vault of my field cj jung said life is a process of making the unconscious conscious so that is what writers do hmm. so what are the few ways to boost mental health for the writers so the few ways to boost for mental for writers for mental health is first let's understand when pablo picasso mentioned solitude is needed to produce great work mm -hmm. modern psychology mm -hmm. goes deeper in exploring isolation and the creative process mm -hmm. with isolation as i mentioned earlier for writers lack of financial resources and the lack of support also dampen mental health it is a mm -hmm. cycle but it is possible to put strategies like you asked to avoid isolation and regulate your own well-being. So mm -hmm. I would just like to ask everybody right now that when you are listening to this talk, how many background are going on in the background? This is a process of productive solitude ka, jahan se aap isolation avoid kar sakte ho, if every if the screen is visible to everyone. So that brings me to helping you define today what is well-being. Mm. Well-being is the awareness of our thoughts, emotions, and experience that interact with environment and response to it, which determines the outcome. So to be is well-being, to be able to be in your mind, body, and spirit, and let it interact with the environment, and let that expression be on paper as your original, authentic self. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Mm, mental health is more than just uh, absence of uh, mental illness. It encompasses of emotional, psychological and social well-being and it affects how we think, feel and act. Uh, is If it's that true, please let us know in detail about it. It is very much true, like this definition of well-being that I have come up with to be is well-being, that we are able to put our, we mm. get inspired from the environment, we have a, a connection with the words, which is our skill as a writer, and we're able to express it and we're able to put it in paper while our mind, body, spirit connection is strongest and we are in the optimal flow to be able mm. to express. And as mm. the creative writing process is there, can we go on the next slide, please, Kosha? Yes. Thank you. The creative writing process, as you can see, brings us to a question that you had asked me earlier, Kosha, while we were discussing this talk. Mm. Why is it important to write about well-being? Mm. So I thought about it a little more specifically. And it is important to write about well-being because it is an opinion. And mm. all opinions need a place under the sun. Mm. But when we write about wellness and well-being, this is a 101 as psychologists that we learn. Don't mm. make everything you research around well-being a possibility for yourself. Don't superimpose 
characteristics or symptoms on yourself. And if you find that writing about well-being overwhelms you, please go ahead and seek a mental health professional to cope with this information because mm. the most of the work that I do is about prevention and management of mental health issues. And overthinking is something that we all are prone to. And mm. we all get into that loop. Like I said, to break a negative thought, we have to give ourselves a break. 